Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and um, to uh, go on part two of failures of hard drives. Um, well, um, our friend that commented wanted to know, you know, what are the problems that make these fail? One of the more puzzling fails for him is the fact that an SSD failed on a couple of his computers. He had to replace the solid state drives. And he was puzzled because he knows that, like we mentioned in the first video, the mechanical hard drives fail because, well, lots of moving parts. So over the years and over time, it fails because of the moving parts that wear down. But he was puzzled at drives that were only a year, a year and a half, two years of age, SSD drives failing. And he wondered if, um, you know, it was about the fact that he uses the PC a lot, reads and writes a lot, does it have an impact on the lifespan of the SSD? So SSD do fail. Yes, uh, some of you might have had that problem, an SSD that just fails and doesn't work anymore. And SSDs are a little complex in trying to recover any data when they fail. Um, often when they fail, it just it doesn't, doesn't work anymore. Now, the failure rate is different depending on the manufacturer, but um, the first thing that you might think is, well, you know, oh, well, if you write too much on your SSD, that's why it's failing. And that is not true. Yes, there is a limit of writes on a cell inside an SSD. The thing is, with the firmware and the way that the software works on an SSD, you will almost never reach the limits of these sales. It's not a problem. People not writing or being careful not to write too much on their SSDs are not doing the right thing. It doesn't matter. Don't hesitate to do what you want to do on a PC, thinking that, oh, if I write this program well, maybe, you know, my lifespan of my SSD is going to be smaller. You will not reach that limit. Your computer will probably be changed before the SSD wears out from writes on the different cells inside the drive. It doesn't matter. Use it. You have it, use it. It's meant to be used. You know, uh, install, uninstall, it doesn't matter. Install Windows 100 times a year if you want. It doesn't matter. You will not reach the limits of the SSD in the writes. That's not where the problem is. The problem lies more in the electronics and the fact that chips can fail. And an SSD, depending on how it's built, can sometimes become very hot. And this is where the failures probably happen the most. Um, it seems that the controllers and the chips that become too hot make some SSDs fail faster than others. So I would suggest if you are in the market for an SSD and want to be careful what to choose, maybe search for failure rates of SSDs and see which ones are more robust than others. But it mostly has to do with some part or some chip failure, often because of very high heat. Uh, these are, you know, cramped jammed in small spaces very often like a laptop the overall heat of everything around it plus its own heat generated because it's working uh yeah it can you know make parts fail some are you know right pretty tough and can actually withstand really high temperatures but chips do fail and this is where it actually fails most of the time for an ssd is one chip just fails and the SSD doesn't work anymore. Um, most SSD failures are sudden. So it's not like a mechanical hard drive. Um, you know, half of the time you might have a warning sign and it's actually going to be slower or there's going to be some errors or things are going to just be weird. That gives you a warning sign. It gives you a time to get a new one and maybe, you know, uh, get and, and get all the files off the old one. But in the case of a SSD, most failures are, you know, you turn on the PC and it just doesn't work anymore. Unfortunately, it's much more drastic most of the time. 
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.